Is this the golden age of video communications? Should we be adding video conferencing capability to all our apps? I'm Alexa Morales for Oracle Connect, and today I'm talking to Vic Verma, CEO of 8x8. Thanks for joining me, Vic. My pleasure, Alexa. So 8x8 provides this essential service in 2020, video conferencing. What was it like just a few months ago when you had to suddenly ramp up to 20 million users a day? Um, exhilarating and scary at the same time. We went from literally about 100,000 monthly active users to approximately 20 million monthly active users over the course of about 40 to 60 days. Um, we made a conscious choice as a company to offer this service for free because we felt as a communications provider, the ability for people to connect, communicate, collaborate during this time, particularly where you can have person-to-person -person interaction, was very important. And so the video conferencing portion of our service was available free of charge all over the world. And it was amazing to see how many great examples we have of customers using our product to affect their daily lives. We had Vilma Conti Hospital calling us up and letting us know that they were using it for patients who were quarantined to talk to their families. We had We School over in Italy letting us know that they, we enabled people to do online learning and do online classes literally over the course of about a week. Um, we had examples of uh, Every Child Pediatrics out here, which was seeing patients uh, for low-income patients that they were able to continue to see remotely. So the ability to scale all of this up, I was incredibly proud of our team. People worked countless hours, and the technology made a huge difference in people's lives, and that's very, very gratifying. So it sounds like you needed a global network of data centers, and it probably was expensive to, to serve this something like one and a half petabytes of video data to users a day. So you made a choice to move some of your workload to Oracle Cloud Infrastructure. Why did you make that choice? Uh, I think we just had to scale so quickly. Um, as you said, at its peak, it was 1.5 petabytes of data. And to put 1.5 petabytes of data in perspective, 1.5 petabytes is the equivalent of 10 billion new pictures, photographs added to Facebook every day. Wow. And so imagine having to scale that up literally from scratch. Um, uh, OCI was a phenomenal partner. Uh, they were proactive in reaching out to us. Uh, they were able to deliver great performance improvements. I think we saw a performance improvement of approximately 25%. They were able to reduce our cost, particularly our network egress cost, by approximately 80%. And so, and they were up and running very quickly. Literally, we were able to transition to Oracle Cloud Infrastructure in about four days. And wow. we had to make no changes to our application. So. In the end, you you remember people who help you when you need it. That's amazing. And it definitely is a feel-good story and, and touching story of, of the technology filling the breach. You are using a technology called Jitsi for mm -hmm. uh, your global video conferencing. So what is Jitsi? Who can use the Jitsi API? So Jitsi is the, it's basically an open source uh, community that we have created and it's they have an application that any person can do without even registering for it so again as i said we made a conscious choice to make jitsi available they can upgrade to a paid version as needed but we put a lot of capability including end-to-end -end encryption right. free of charge for everybody unlimited usage unlimited number of people so it was a conscious business decision driven by the fact that I think COVID-19 uh, had such an impact on the globe where people were literally struggling to find their bearings. Um, and we, as I said, from our perspective, one of the great things was the examples of people using it to make a difference in their lives. And we kept hearing testimonial after testimonial. Uh, one doctor uh, actually sent me a picture with you know the face blurred out of a patient who had been in a coma came out of coma, but clearly couldn't be exposed to their kids. And they used Jitsi to be able to communicate. And that, that raw emotion of people seeing each other for the first time. And that's what video has been so great about. Awesome. What video has done is it allows people, we are, when all is said and done, human beings are social creatures. And we miss human in interaction. And the ability to ensure human interaction at a time of social distancing 
is something that Jitsi allowed people to do. And that was very, very gratifying to see. Yeah, it's stunningly easy to use. I played around with the Jitsi uh, API and anybody uh, can use it. So you can go uh, two routes. You can go you know, at the meet, uh, meet.jit.si or you can do um, uh, 8x8.vc. Both are the same code. Um, and, right. and just uh, f from our intent, the whole goal is to give people multiple ways to access. It's WebRTC, which means you can be on a Chrome browser. You don't have to download an app or you can download an app. The intent, and again, we made a conscious choice not to force people to register, give any personal information so that people were just in a mode where the, there was no friction in using the product. And yeah. that's why you saw such dramatic increase in usage. Yeah, it is an exciting uh, it is an exciting process uh, product and uh, community. And yesterday I spoke with Emil Ivov, the creator mm -hmm. of Jitsi, who obviously works for you now. And oh, and by the way, Jitsi uh, the back end is written in Java, so that warms my heart. Mm -hmm. um, so he was talking about how people have been designing apps that assume at some point you're going to meet in person, mm -hmm. but now that's no longer the case. And, and you've talked about the last mile of communications. So how should developers and CTOs and businesses be thinking differently about video conferencing and collaboration and, and unified communications? So the, the way I would think about it is communications infrastructure, the ability to seamlessly move from voice to video to chat it is going to become part and parcel of the way we do business. Um, one of the things 8x8 has done is we built an integrated communication platform for the digital workplace. And what that means is for every worker from the contact center agent that's communicating with customers to the salespeople that are basically communicating with prospects to the knowledge worker to the receptionist, we tie them all into one common communications infrastructure and each of them has apps that are necessary to for them to do their job. So for example, a customer service agent has a contact center. The um, salesperson will have video conferencing plus a contact center. A knowledge worker may just have video conferencing plus collaboration plus a phone system, et cetera, et cetera. So that core infrastructure is increasingly more important than buildings. If you really think about it, if you had a choice right now, pretty much if you were an executive of a large company, you would bias towards communications infrastructure over physical infrastructure. Because the ability to connect your global workforce and have them feel like they're in the same room and they can connect, communicate, and collaborate with each other with the same level of productivity and efficiency as if they were sitting across from each other is absolutely critical. So I think that is a trend that is here to stay. You will start to see people come back, hopefully once there's a vaccine into offices. But I think going forward, what you're going to find is more and more people will use offices as a place to go as an exception, as opposed to working from home is an exception. And right. video is going to be critical to that because in the end, we want to be able to make that physical contact with people virtually. You also, once you sort of own that medium of the meeting, you can mine that, you can look at sentiment, like what are the other things that you can do with that information once you're, you're, you're part of that pipeline, that communication pipeline? Yeah, so, so think about what 8x8 does. We have a core communications platform which essentially replaces your phone system, replaces your collaboration system, replaces your video conferencing solution, uh, system, and replaces your contact center. Your contact center is all your interactions with your customers. Your video conferencing is your interactions with your customers, your partners, and your employees. Your phone system is your interaction with your customers, partners, employees, and your collaboration system is your interaction with customers, partners, and employees. All of this data is in the cloud, all available for a corporation. So the ability to know who's calling, when are they calling, are they not happy when they're calling, or are they happy when they're calling, what times are they calling, which offices are they calling, what are the trends, all of these things can be used to really enhance a company's productivity. It can also improve your interaction with your customers. For example, let's say you introduce red dresses in China. And next thing you know, you're seeing a level of interaction where people are coming in and saying they love it or they don't love it. And you can literally track sentiment by region. Right. So, so that data is going to be critical because if you think about it, the hallmark or the, the backbone of any company 
is the ability to communicate, collaborate, and connect with customers, partners, and employees. So getting back to running on Oracle Cloud infrastructure, what kinds of performance metrics did you see once you were running? And did that convince you to bring more workloads over to Oracle? Yeah, so we have started with video conferencing. So we moved our Jitsi as well as 8x8.vc, which is our secure video conferencing, uh, over to Oracle Cloud Infrastructure. Over time, we, we are a multi-cloud company. We use multiple vendors. But in this particular instance, we moved it over to Oracle Cloud Infrastructure. We saw non-trivial cost savings. I think I indicated to you, video is very, very high bandwidth. And for network egress, we saw approximately an 80% saving. We saw savings in terms of compute power, storage, et cetera. We saw performance improvement where it exceeded 25%. So those things are pretty significant. And that was a non-trivial portion of our overall infrastructure over time. We will look to bring in other aspects of it. Um, we have enjoyed our partnership with Oracle. We have seen uh, from the very highest level on, we have seen people get engaged. They are very proactive, collaborative. And so that has been important for me because just going through this kind of Herculean growth is stressful on a company. And having a partner that A, has gone through it, and B, leans in and is proactive about helping you and supporting you transition all of your workload to their various servers and doing it seamlessly is absolutely critical. Those are things I don't forget. Like you said, stressful moments. I mean, your 8 by 8 has been around for uh, quite a long time. What keeps you thriving through, through the changes in technology through the decades? So we've had to reinvent ourselves. When you think about it, 8 by 8 was a chip company back in the, the late 1990s. Um, we transitioned to VOIP, which is basically voice, um, back in the early to mid 2000s. And then over the la next five years or so, we became a full featured communications provider. We are the only one which has the ability to provide a complete phone system, a complete video conferencing system, a complete collaboration system, and a complete contact center system with underlying analytics and data all in the cloud all available on demand to different customers and you can have mix and match. And so this has happened over the last five to six years. It has involved around nine or 10 acquisitions that we have done, integrating all of that together and positioning this company for growth. So we believe, you know, frankly, the future is now for us because the world needs what we have, where this communications backbone that is so critical is now becoming the core for any company, even more so than physical infrastructure like buildings. Yeah, that's that's really stunning. For some reason, I'm reminded of high frequency trading and when they started to lay those networks so that those guys could get to the markets faster. So we're kind of in that world now. Yeah, and as I said, the, the part I would build on is if you had a choice and you are trying to build a global company, if you think about it, Companies, particularly in Silicon Valley, used to be measured and or attractive based on their physical facilities. Do I have this great building that looks like a spaceship or these two towers or this great cafeteria or these large, beautiful campuses with bikes and everything? And, you know, we can have all these people on staff. All of that is gone. Right. They're all sitting empty. Right. But what is important is the ability for employees to feel connected with a company to be able to connect with each other, to support each other globally, to basically communicate, connect, collaborate, and do it very effectively as if they were sitting next to each other. Right. And so when you think about it, communications infrastructure replaces physical infrastructure, and people will increasingly make their decisions mm -hmm. on which companies to go to in terms of how connected a company is as opposed to how beautiful the offices are. Yeah, this is fascinating. Well, I want to thank you for letting us know sort of what's coming. Where should developers go if they're interested in playing with Jitsi and exploring the possibilities? Just type in Jitsi into your web browser and you'll be able to get to Jitsi or you just type 8x8.vc and you'll have a full meetings experience. And the intent, again, is to make it very seamless, make it easy for people to use. We also have 8x8 Express where you can get a full voice, video and collaboration platform through e-commerce, or you can have our X series, which also includes the contact center. We are becoming increasingly ubiquitous. We have over uh, about 55, 60,000 customers, over a million users of our product. And so whatever we can do to help people meet their communications need, we stand ready and, and able to serve. 
Yeah, and actually you remind me that uh, as a partner with Oracle, uh, your video solutions are also available in the Oracle Cloud Marketplace. Yet another place people can find you. Well, thank you so much. It's been a pleasure joining you here on the 8x8 platform. Thank you, Alexa.